Awesome. And uh, how was the trip there? Right? Yeah, good. I mean, we played in Wolverhampton last night and Leeds the night before, so yeah, everything's good. How was the Shows are going amazing. Yeah. We're having a great time, you know. Uh, it's, it's great unveiling our new sound member, and uh, it's, the reaction has been yeah. stupendous. Yeah. Talking about the new member, through a bit of process, finding yeah. the right drum, and tell us about that. Uh, well, I mean, uh, you know, once Mike had made it perfectly clear to us that he was leaving the band, um, we knew that, uh, you know, there was no doubt in our minds that we wanted to continue on. So at that point, the first thing that had to happen was we needed to find a replacement. And um, so we started putting together a, a whole uh, audition sequence, and at the same time we thought it would be really cool to document it because it's, it's something that was you know, unprecedented in our, in our career. And we knew, uh, you know, more than likely, 100% of it would never happen again. So the whole process was for us to put together a list of drummers that we thought, you know, would make the grade and would uh, really um, be able to maintain that level that we've come to be known as, as far as a drummer. And um, so we all kind of went through our list and decided on seven drummers and brought them in. The funny thing is, is that Mike and Jeannie was the first one to play, and we were kind of like, oh my god, I mean, how does it get any better? <laughs> He's basically, it's undeniable, this is the man. So, anyways, but we stayed extremely open-minded for, for the other six drummers that followed. And, um, you know, they, they, they all came very well prepared. And, uh, it was, it was you just had the right chemistry. <clears throat> I mean, he's a phenomenal drummer, for one. I mean, he's just a, a gem <laughs> drummer. But at the same time, yes, he's, he's, he's got a, a great personality, great great attitude and um, it's very uh, engaging with people and um, it just seemed like a perfect fit. I, I've known Mike for 13 years so um, and he's played on three of my solo albums so um, but that being said I mean he came in and that's not what decided whether his daughter I mean I had to stay completely open-minded and give everyone a fair shake. You know? you used to play drums yourself? Yeah I mean I played Oh, I think, well, I think, you know, what I gained from drumming, I, I, I drummed from the age of 5 till I was 17, was the whole rhythmical sense, you know, I really enhanced my whole grasp on, especially being in a band like this, which is time signatures and very complex at times, um, you know, I was able to really feel it immediately. Um, you know, yeah, I mean, I look for certain things that drummers are doing, and I understand exactly what it is that they're doing technically. And, um, but to me, you know, it's, it's more, it's not like really scrutinizing their old buildings. It's, it's, it's really kind of just feeling the person. Because, I mean, there's a lot of amazing drummers out there, technically speaking, but it's, it's how you feel and how you interpret the music and the kind of push and the vibe and the back and the bone that you give to the music. That's what I'm looking for. Yes, yeah.